Anyway, uh, doubt playing as the Italians, and we will have Turks for cassava. Uh, Italians, Turks, match up. I think my first blush guess would be that I'd rather have the Italians here. Uh, but if you think about the grand scheme of doubt um, as the higher rated meta focused player, uh, maybe Cassava can use Turks to go for 1TC aggression and try to put some pressure on Doubt. Uh, it's kind of making um, it's making a big leap because we haven't even seen the early game maps. But uh, if I'm Cassava, I'm thinking like Scouts, 1TC. You could go Towers instead of Scouts if you want to. Uh, but I think I want to see some Janissaries on the field here. It all depends on how the game shapes up. But um, that would be what I'd be thinking initially. But if I thought a little more about it, I looked at Cassava's map, extremely well-nested resources, extremely wallable map across the top and the front. Not in the early game, you're not going to wall this in the Dark Age, but actually, scouts in this case are are probably the best play. I mean, I feel very strongly that scouts would do well, uh, because you have safe resources. If you have that big military out early, you're not going to be too threatened by doubt, and you're going to have an opportunity to wall all this in. And if, if that happens, oh, Cassava's going to be sitting pretty... Can you imagine if he has this all walled in uh, as the like mid castle age comes and he's dropping down TCs and booming? That could be really nice. Anyway, we'll see uh, our red player pushing in some deer as usual. Three villagers out on the back wood line for now. Let's see where the fourth villager goes. Cassava's fourth vill will go out and grab the boar. Not four vills on wood. Three vills on wood. Uh, Doubt on the other side of the map. He's playing as well. We don't have to only think about the underdog. Blue player, the lord and savior Doubt. Works in mysterious ways. He's going to have four bills on the back wood line. Does have back stone to work with. Stone off to the side as well. Italian's player is going to have uh, forward gold, forward berries. You know, it's not a terrible map for Doubt. At least he has a back wood line. He's even going to push a few deer, but it's not a great map. Towers could do well to starve Doubt of gold, but they would have a lot of trouble starving him of stone. I don't think towers for Cassava uh, are super viable, but you never know. I started off wanting the Turks player to go aggressive, and then I saw his map and changed my mind. I reserved the right to change my mind. Uh, let's see what he decides to do, since he is the 2200 rated player after all. He's going to make a better decision maybe than I will. Almost definitely. Anyway, guys, we got live action coming at you. Uh, when I left HD, I was 2k2. Now I'm 2k1 on Vubli. Whoa. Dark Noob strong. 2k1 on Vubli. That's nasty. That is nasty. Uh, okay, deer being pushed in from everybody. Everybody's going greedy boy this game. Red player is not going to kill his boar in one shot like Doubt did before. I don't know how that happened. Still befuddled by what went down. Uh, red player already looking to wall in. Does look like he has a very standard scout build going. You never know. Could transition over to stone, but look at how easily this map could be walled. So far, Cassava has been uh, really aggressively... Aggressive is not a very good word for scouting your own side of the map. He's been very uh, diligently scouting his own map, and it's it's a brilliant move because once you see that front side, once you see this side, you start to think like, ah, oh, what else do I have to wall to get this fully walled in? Because this would be a nice map. Cassava likes to play with walls. We've seen that earlier on in the day uh, versus another opponent. Uh, so let's see. Let's see if he gets that all walled in. In the meantime, Doubt will be pushing in Deer. Doubt playing as the Italians can go up uh, rather early. What is going on with Doubt's villager count? Oh, I guess he's got uh, Lumen already. Maybe Lumen to grab a boar. Doubt will grab 10 gold and put down a barracks. And hmm, maybe it's men at arms for Doubt. This map is not really a drush map, but it could happen. It could be a drush. We'll see. Second boar coming late after all the deer, but ultimately Doubt is doing fine as he starts to go forward with his own scout. Cassava's going forward as well to figure out what Doubt is working with. And we'll see Loom coming in for our red player at 707. Cassava is looking to go up, looking to go into some scouts. Doubt, in the meanwhile, is still not finished that barracks, so it, it, it seems like it should be a um, seems like it should be a men at arms play. Uh, the 10 gold is an interesting number. We'll have to keep an eye on that from Doubt. Not exactly sure what Doubt's plan is. I would have expected a mining camp and an uptime coming after one more vill, so maybe that's the case. But uh, he did take 10 gold early, maybe just to be just to be a little avant-garde. Doubt's looking for men-at-arms here, I think, and Cassava is looking for scouts. Ah, you know what? I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Doubt will add in a couple more vills, and he will go for the, uh, for the Drush play. 
Interesting. Doubt's going to get a dress shout, and uh, this could be hard for him, man. Doubt's got an exposed back wood line that I assume Cassava has already scouted. And I would assume wrong. Has not scouted that yet. But he's got uh, exposed berries. Red player needs to find that back wood line before he gets out of here. That would be a huge, huge advantage for him. Unfortunately, he's going to chase the drush from behind. But, uh, oh man, I wish he would find that wood line. I wish he would find that wood line. He's chasing down the drush. Feudal Age on the way. Kasava's going to clean it. It's not going to be a big deal. But um, disregarding that drush would probably be um, a potential... That's an option. You don't always have to uh, defend it. I think he's uh, assuming that Doubt is going to be up to men at arms soon, but uh, that is not going to be the case. Like, if Doubt was 21 pot men at arms, this would be a little fast to have these uh, militia here already, but it wouldn't be, like, impossible, I don't think. Red player is going to get down a stable. He's going to poke away at Doubt Scout a little bit. Secret Doubt is going to try to get in, but the quick walls are down for Kasaba, and a spearman is out to run some interference. Stable will come very shortly with five villagers building it. And Cassava should be fine for a scout build here. Cassava should be super, super fine. Uh, the best thing that could happen for him is to engage this Drush early and then just confidently go forward with scouts. That's my opinion, but uh, opinions are like uh, butts, like buttholes. Isn't that the way people say it? Everyone has one, but they all stink. Isn't that what it is? They all stink. I don't know, Red is going to come in, I hope, and delete these walls and fight this army. He should immediately engage, and here he goes. I like this a lot. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think he should clean that up very quickly and try to flip the script and hit Doubt. Doubt, after the Drush, uh, is still pretty open at home. His Feudal Age will come with a presumably immediate spear and maybe some prophylactic walling from Doubt. But there's a lot of holes in Doubt's economy. It's a whole lot of holes. I'll take your titties. <laughs> that's not the right. That's not the right word. That's not the right one. What's the whole lot of holes one? I see dead people. <laughs> Killer B's not on his game, man. Hmm. They've done studies, you know. Hmm. Sixty percent of the time, it works <laughs> every time. Well, I can't find the right drop, but uh, oh well, life goes on. We had a whole lot of holes. Oh, maybe it's this one. I know that's a whole lot. Oh of holes, yeah. But we're in a whole lot of trouble. Sorry for spamming the drops at you guys, but uh, Doubt here could be in some trouble, man. He could be in some trouble. He's going to get a blacksmith and a market down. He looks like he's going to wall himself in on that back wood line for a fast castle. Still exposed on the berries, still a little bit exposed on the gold, but if he continues to palisade up, he might get the job done. Scouts coming from Cassava feel like they took a little while to get here, but they will eventually show up uh, in decent numbers with a couple of forward spears as well. Doubt's resources, you might ask? Well, he's got plenty to go up. He is Italians, after all, so he can click up uh, with, what is it, 15, 20% 20, 20 less? What's the number? 15% less. So it's uh, relatively cheap. Italians getting up to the castle age here. Uh, Doubt is going to go for it, and Cassava is going to try to punish. A couple spears forward for the red player will do a nice job to push Doubt off of his berries. Doubt, for now, is taking stone on that back corner. Cassava is roaming to the north, looking for more damage. Don't know if Cassava can really punish Doubt enough here. It doesn't look like it. If he found this back stone right now, he maybe could. But right now, he's rolling the wrong direction. Doubt with a quick house there, actually, would do a nice job to keep those scouts away. However, Cassava will actually roll in and uh, get in on Doubt. Doubt's got a couple of spears waiting, so he's okay. No upgrades yet on the scouts. Cassava continuing to be patient and continuing to wait for the resources for Castle Age. Our player in red has built a lot of military and unfortunately uh, has not been able to land any damage. However, we talked early on in this game. This is a wallable map. This could be a super good map for Cassava. Cassava right now has map control, although uh, does not have the resources to click the castle. It doesn't necessarily mean that he's losing the game. He's got to wall in this front side. He's got to use the map control that he has to full wall his map. Feels like uh, the, the play that he should be going for, but um, we'll see. We'll see if he does. He is sending a couple villagers out, and those villagers might actually be coming forward. Cassava is going to maybe come forward with some vills. I think when the Castle Age upgrade comes in, he's going to change... Uh, the course of his direction. He wants to get um, those villagers forward to build some towers on Doubt's stone. But uh, no, he's going to go for it. Kasava's going to go for it. Can turn and kill that scout. But uh, Kasava is all in for, uh, well, 
some villagers to follow this up. Bloodline's coming as well. Red player's spending his resources and sticking with the Feudal Age. Doubt we'll get a castle down, though. And Cassava can't stop that castle. You can't stop that castle. Not really any good options. Cassava's got to go home with these four vills. He's still rolling forward, trying to get in on Doubt's, uh, the back of Doubt's base. Doubt is on the way to, um, well, he saw it with that scout, but he's on the way to fletching. He's on the way to getting that castle up. And I suppose our Italian's player is going to try to solidify his position a little bit more. Cassava is going to be up soon, is going to have stone coming in a castle of his own. Uh, you know, just an opinion, but I, I, I kind of wish he had just stonewalled himself in. But um, let's see how he does. Not a doubt castle indeed. Fast Imp with Genovese a couple times now. Okay. Fast Imp with Italians makes sense since it's so much cheaper. Doubt right now is still on stone pretty aggressively, so maybe he's thinking about a tower to defend this area. Cassava does sneak in around behind, and I would be happy to be wrong in this situation. That castle is uh, going to protect the stone somewhat, but this tower is going to be quite annoying if it goes up. Genovese crossbows should do nicely to deal with the uh, scouts roaming around from red. Red player gets that first tower off, and maybe he can creep toward the wood line. Maybe he can get there, Scar. Uh, Doubt is still looking pretty strong. He still does have some options uh, up his sleeves. Right now it's Genovese crossbows, Bodkin arrow on the way. Those Genovese are not really going to be bothered too much by this army, but they're also not exactly going to pick Vils quickly. So Doubt is going to have to be really patient. It's going to take a little while here. Cassava doubles down with more scouts. Red player is going to click up to the Castle Age now. And if he can get another tower or two in this area, he could continue to annoy Doubt. Nice thing is that he can take over both stone piles with those towers, and his scouts are still running unabated. Genovese will not be so scared of this, but maybe those scouts could find a way around the map to some of the weaker parts uh, to do some raiding. We will see. Right now it is our red player trying to get up more towers, trying to stay aggressive, stay annoying. Just don't know if it's going to work. Italian FC into Castle so smooth versus Scouts. Yeah, right now, Doubt is doing okay on this defense. He's, he's doing fine. Two towers will come up. Doubt will lose his stone, but he does have a good bit of map control. Doubt right now is still building out the Genovese crossbows. He is going to see his opponent hit Castle Age soon. Doubt will have a couple of villagers in his advantage. Italian's player is not really doing anything noticeable to me. Uh, right now, I'm not seeing extra TCs. I'm not seeing a whole lot of military. I'm just seeing a couple of Genovese crossbows out, and those units maybe will go forward to try to hit the red player back at home. Cassava is going to take down stone on the front. He's going to stonewall in his towers, which I love, and he will uh, start to go back home. If he can, he still can wall himself in. There's still plenty of time and plenty of map control. He'll have a defensive tower or two, uh, but he can finish the walls maybe on this side, or even a, a tower or two on that side. He can be really safe. I hope that we are going to see Cassava hit the Castle Age soon and continue to stay aggressive, but he does have numbers that look imp-ish. Looks like he could be the one uh, trying to go to imp a little sooner than Doubt. Doubt's Genovese crossbows do arrive now, and the Lord and Savior will get in some nice raiding. You don't think of Genovese crossbows as a raiding unit, but right now they are doing a little bit of annoyance. Doubt still defending back at home with some spears, still building up his eco, pushing toward the TC here. Uh, life is pretty okay for Doubt. I think he's quite fine, and uh, his Genovese crossbows continue to have no equal. Cassava will get up a TC inside of his economy, and that TC will create a little blockade here for the Genovese crossbows. Uh, so for now, those units will probably have to go back for Doubt. Doubt continues to uh, build up on the backside. A little bit of a... Uh, there's an army here. It's not a clandestine lumber camp, but I love the TC back there. That helps a lot. 40 bills for Doubt, 16 military for him, and he is not quite going to get in here in time to do any more damage. This is an interesting game. Uh, Cassava is, is still fine. Uh, this is still okay. Doubt will keep trying to harass here from the top of this hill, but we are eventually going to see Cassava get down a castle of his own, and that castle could come up right in front of Doubt's base if you want to. A little bit risky, but could. Uh, Cassava had a ton of resources when he hit the Castle Age, but has since uh, spent pretty much everything, trying to keep the aggression going. Doubt had a bunch of resources at one point as well, but Doubt has spent those also. So neither guy is going for a fast imp. Both guys are adding in extra TCs, and we are going to see continued Genovese crossbow production from Doubt. 
Douch Genevieve's crossbows can't get in, but they can't be stopped either. They're giving him a lot of map control. He did give up some map control to the towers in the back of his eco, but that is maybe temporary. We'll have to see. For now, it is... Um, it's still an issue for him back there, but those those buildings are maybe something he can deal with soon. Dow continues to camp out near his opponent's gold and continues to try to poke away at villagers. Very annoying if you're Cassava, because you're trying to grab gold there, and you're constantly having to keep one eye on that part of your eco. Dow for now, adding in a third TC. Italian's player is still using his Genovese crossbows to take over a lot of map control. It's so nice to be able to build a single unit and not have to worry about really anything that your opponent's going to do. Turk's player right now is just trying to hold on, trying to hold on. Towers, castle, jannies maybe in the future. But right now, uh, the cavalry, which Cassava has invested a lot in to get upgrades, are pretty much pointless versus these Genovese crossbows. Genovese raiding, man. Genovese raiding from doubt. Why not? What does Turks do versus mass condos? Cavalier, and then... Uh, well, Cavalier is probably not going to work because the Genovese, they're, they have that bonus versus Cavalry. They're going to be a real problem if you uh, want to go Cavalry. I mean, they can be overwhelmed. It's not impossible. But uh, I don't know. Turk's player is possibly going to get a Castle Down and some Janny production going. That would be... That's all I can really see for him right now. He's on 777 stone, so that Castle can come up whenever he wants. And I think he will be able to defend himself unless the Genovese dive in. Siege Workshop coming on the front for Cassava. Still no castle drop coming. Maybe thinking about putting it on the front and being super brazen. Uh, but possibly that castle will come up back at home. Doubt's Genovese crossbows continue to have map control. 22 military for Doubt. Equal villager numbers for both sides. 3 TC boom going on for each player now. And it's just a question of where Cassava's castle will go. That's the only thing on my mind right now. Doubt's Genovese crossbows, man. They've been annoying. They keep rolling in. Oh, look at how quickly they melt through uh, cavalry. Uh, they just keep poking in, grabbing a vill, making their opponent garrison. Doesn't look like great raiding, but one or two vills here and there. That's a really big deal. That's three vills from Doubt without losing a Genovese crossbow. And he'll jump back up. Yeah, there. He'll lose a couple. Just for good measure. But this is nice annoyance. Uh, right now it is Cassava still spending a lot of resources, still waiting on that castle drop. Doubt on the other side is still building Genovese crossbows. Doubt on one castle does have the three TCs pumping out. 60 villagers for the Lord and Savior. Economy is a little bit sketchy. Right here it is especially um, a bit unprotected. But uh, Cassava's on three military right now. Cassava will get a very nice mango shot. And maybe even two pushed out away on that side. In the meantime, the Genovese crossbows, well, they slowly pick pick another vill down. More villagers going down. It is now a nine villager advantage for Doubt. Doubt's getting up a siege workshop. He's going to try to deal with these forward towers. Cassava is going to drop that castle, I think. Yeah, castle coming up on the front of that economy. Hmm, interesting game. I thought both players would be going more quickly to imp than they are, but I was wrong. Uh, both guys still spending in the Castle Age. Well, Cassava certainly is. Yeah, and Doubt here continues uh, to spend resources. He's even going to get some rams out to try to knock down these towers. Uh, he will grab a couple relics. Doubt will have the Genovese crossbow still rolling around. Three TCs for the Lord and Savior. Like we said, 9-10 villager advantage, and it should be stable at 9 or 10 vils. Cassava's eco is on three TCs as well. Doubt's raiding is pretty much done now that there's a mango or two out and a castle down. So, yeah, I think the Vill numbers are going to stabilize. Uh, Doubt's path to the Imperial Age will be a little cheaper as Italians, uh, but both guys will, well, both guys will be on similar resources for now. Imp is not exactly uh, super close for either side. Very nice from Doubt to be able to pick these Vills down. That means that his rams don't even need to be guarded. One villager left. Uh, Doubt is going to keep the Genovese crossbows nearby. He will quickly ram down that tower. And he will finish off that forward from Kassab. Nice job to uh, keep Doubt busy on that corner and take over some resources. But ultimately, it all ends with dead villagers all over the ground. Another dead vill. Doubt finishes cleaning it up with the second, uh, second ram. So, Kassava, what's your plan, bro? Right now, it's a defensive mangonel. It's a decent boom, but it's 67 total vills. Doubt is starting to pull away a little bit on the vill count after 
uh, Cassava loses four vills in the back corner. It is now going to be a 14 villager advantage for Dao. Cassava's got a lot of mangonels. I mean, relative to where we are in the game, three mangonels camping out inside of his eco uh, makes Cassava a rather gold poor gentleman. Spending a lot of wood that he could have spent on farms, spending a lot of gold for this push, so I suppose he's going to start sending those units forward to try to get something going. Uh, those rams will not be joined, or rather those mangoes will not be joined by Jannies, at least not for now. Cassava is just defending with three mangoes and hanging out. Hanging out. Not exactly sure what the plan is going to be, but Doubt's Imp is on the way. I know what Doubt's plan is, Imperial Age. Uh, right away, Genevieve's crossbowman production continues. Doubt's going to add in a bunch of barracks, and oh boy, what is the plan going to be, guys? I think you guys were all talking about it earlier. What can you do versus condos? Scale mail armor coming. Condioteros may be on the way very soon. Uh, let's talk about let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about condos. Uh, condos are a little little more gold heavy than I usually remember, but uh, pretty nice unit to try to spam out. Fast infantry with bonus attack versus gunpowder. Uh, they are um, pretty nasty little buggers, and they're going to be headed toward the economy, I presume, of Cassava uh, pretty soon. Condos and Genovese, Chainmail Armor and Squires coming. Doubt's grabbing all those upgrades, and it looks like he's going to transition over uh, to Condos. Plenty of gold economy for Doubt. Plenty of map control to uh, try to grab even more gold as the game goes on. Barracks are coming down. There's six, I believe, for now. And they're all within shouting order of each other. Always nice to be able to spam from the same spot. It's easier. Doubt's grabbed a couple of relics. He's got 88 villagers. Uh, you know, uh, our red player has caught up, has added another TC, uh, but red's going to have some trouble, of course, because, well, Imperial Age is in now, and these Genovese are going to get a little scarier, and the condos are going to be out. Bonus versus gunpowder is kind of an interesting thing. Kind of makes this a weird situation. Condos, um, Condioteros having um, Fast Infantry with bonus against gunpowder. That makes things a little uncomfortable, because Turks are pretty nice with gunpowder. We still have not seen uh, any Jannies from our red player. Seems Italian seems like a good counter to Turks, yeah. I mean, it's what can you do right now? What can Cassava do? Turks player can't really go down the cavalry line, because there's too many Genovese crossbows for him to break. I mean, he could try. He is going down the siege line for now, but that's going to be hard versus condos. Oh, nice mango shot there. Very nice mango shot from our player in red. Second mangonel shot's actually pretty good, too. That's, uh, that's nine dead condos? Oh! Oh, baby! Oh, wow. Doubt, you savage. You never fail to, um, to amaze. Doubt's in a great spot to win this game. It doesn't really matter that much, but, uh, <laughs> well, the condos are all gone. Now what do you do? We are talking about how all oh, those condos, you, you really can't build cavalry, uh, condos, uh, all those Genovese crossbowmen, you can't really build cavalry. Uh, well, no Genovese crossbowmen left. It's 28 military for Doubt right now, and I think it's mostly condos. Doubt's got a nasty number of Condiotero out. He does still need a lot of upgrades. Well, not a lot, but some. Uh, right now, those condos are spamming out of six barracks, and they are rolling forward from Doubt. Stone mining coming as well. Uh, the Lord and Savior is ready to go get back on his back stone. Really crazy moment. Cassava killing not not six, not ten, but something like a dozen or fourteen condos with two mangonels. Really nice mangonel shots. Archery range is coming down now for our red player, and maybe we will see some gunpowder. Gonna be hard, man. Condos are on the way. There's already 53 military for doubt. 50 freaking three, even after losing 15 or so units. He's got a massive, nasty number of condos coming. Iron casting on the way. Doubt is going to run straight at this eco. And what can you really do? What can you really do? Doubt's going to run in and take on the castle right now. Because why not? He will take on uh, the small number of units that his opponent has. And he'll dive into this eco. And uh, Doubt will continue to grab relics. Continue to take over map control. And Cassava will give the GG. So let's take a moment to resume the lobby here and make sure that we don't uh, mess up the flow of the games. Looks like we are good there. Uh, let's think about this, guys. What in the heck is Cassava supposed to do? Uh, his mangonels, you could say they were a weird choice because of all the condos coming, but they worked out fine. They killed so many Genovese crossbows that it wasn't even funny. 
Uh, the boom was okay for cassava. Imperial Age was coming, but Doubt was ready to knock down really everything with his huge number of condos. So the question remains, what are you supposed to do when your opponent has Genovese crossbows and your opponent has a bunch of Condiotero coming your way? It's kind of a nasty combination. What do you do as Turks? Uh, hand cannons make sense and Janissaries make sense, but remember the condos have the bonus versus gunpowder, so it's not that sexy. Um, champions would be interesting, but condos are pretty fast and you know a meat shield in front would be pretty tough. Uh, going down the Cavalier line could make sense if there wasn't so many Genovese earlier on. I just don't know what you do. I feel like you have to win that game before it gets into uh, the Imperial Age versus Italians because it just felt so uncomfortable trying to think of what is Cassava supposed to do here. Uh, let's take a moment to look at the replay and then we can all discuss what we all would have done, how we would have won that game. But let's take a look at this. Doubt, despite the win, despite some great play, did provide a kind of negative uh, replay, I would say. Uh, Doubt is diving in here with his Genovese crossbows. He's taking the second big Mangonel shot to that group, and then he will, again, take a third ground fire right as the Mangonel dies, and he will lose a huge number of units. That was extremely entertaining, in my humble opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed that, because that was um, that's about as, uh, as interesting of Mangonel shots as you're going to see. Can't really give Doubt any crap, because I would have done